Hi everyone, it's Stephanie and I'm back with another acrylic pouring video. For this one, I started out with a flip cup and then it ended up being, I guess you could say, a ring pour. Even though it was a straight pour, I was not twirling my wrist while doing it. I'm really bad at twirling my wrist, I have to say. <laughs> I never get those beautiful centers that people get, uh, 3D centers. Anyway. Um, this actually came out pretty nice and I do love the center of this one because it's different and it's unique and um, there's some interesting things to look at in there uh, it reminds me of a womb at times at other times I'm looking at it I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at but I would love to hear what you see when you look at it so with this one I was using a new paint um, I'm using paints that I uh, have used before but I'm adding in another color which is that rose um, it is by Arteza and I saw other people using it and I thought it's such a lovely color I would love to try it uh, the only problem is when I used it in a flip cup it disappeared because I do believe it's transparent and I also think that magenta or any color like that tends to disappear depending on the technique so I would use it again but not in a flip cup you're gonna see I do a flip cup I don't like what I see it's too bland there's really no composition at all and so then I proceed to um, layer colors into my cup and do I guess what you call a straight pour and uh, I love what I end up with okay I'm gonna stop yapping and let you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, please subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I post a new video. And like this video if you like it, if you dig it. And thank you so much for watching.